Yo, loser. So like, what in the heck happened to you? What do you mean? I mean, as XM pieces go, I am gorgeous. And you, not so much. Shut up, Buck. I will rock you like hurricane. So, uh, Yakov Smirnov, you uh, by chance got any vodka stashed over there? Oh, right. Like, we Russians always have vodka with us. Right. Oh, well. Can't blame a guy for trying. Uh, hey, you, you think they ever, like, actually opened a comic book to see what you look like? Or maybe watched a cartoon or something? Shut up, or I will get bug spray. Gungan. Gungan? Oh, psh. Ha, ha, ha. You're so funny. It's Gargan. Thank you. <laughs> that jar jar binks. He make me laugh. Uh, no. So you cannot find me for sale anywhere, and yet you can find you on eBay for under $600. <sighs> and I'm pretty sure that 450 of that is for shipping. Yikes. Awkward. Zat kanis palatva. Or you will get prostate exam with this spear. <laughs> <sighs> well, at least they dropped those silly looking ballet slippers, you. close. Hey, you know what? I was just trying to figure out who's the bigger puss? You or the lion? <laughs> Ugh, I hate that guy. gonna assemble this bad boy first but uh first off about that skit uh it took me forever to try to think of something to do with scorpion i didn't want to do you know animated tail or whatever it's like i've already done that with venom so uh anyway it struck me one day i was looking at my case and uh i was like i've got my favorite xm villain and one of my favorite overall xm pieces in with one that's not so favorite so apologies to xm for criticizing craven but uh have a feeling if xm could have a do-over they would so uh craven's got some issues but uh maybe i'll review him next um anyways i just found it funny you know staring i was like i've got my favorite and least favorite in the same case there and uh, i was like I wonder if they struck up a conversation what would that sound like so that was the inspiration so First of all, let's assemble it and see what it, how it goes together. One of the keys whenever doing this is this hand. You have to slightly raise him on this. So you wanna key this in and then comes right back down like so. But if you don't lift it, then that's an issue. So that's the key to it, a little lift. In the armored version, we have these uh, shin pads. Of course, the contour goes, it has keys on it here. The fence was a little complicated to figure out originally, but since I already know, how it goes. The big piece is on the far left facing. The one with the five spikes goes next. And the one with two goes far right facing.
like so. I always thought this was a very cool piece. It looks like a scorpion face for his chest armor, which is just magnetized on. Very cool. The lamp, which has battery LED in it. I will put a soap reactor on it to power it. And the tail, you got a peg and a key. Goes right in place. And lastly, the last hand. Goes like so. So with the assembly, I'll start with the construction of it. Uh, I think it's very well constructed, very well thought out. Um, all the magnets are super strong. There's zero chance that anything is gonna give. You know, he does not move in any way, shape or form. As far as uh, moving around, everything is exceptionally well done. Great engineering here to get this crouching pose and allow you to change out that gauntlet was just a brilliant uh, thought there. The uh, keying in of this all looks very natural. I like the fact that they actually varied uh, two different um, tail styles. One comes here, the other wraps and comes more at the side of his head. So let's go ahead and change over to the classic, which is actually my favorite of the two. I use this in the skit because it's easier to mask out your face on this one than I didn't feel like painting myself green. So anyway, let's change to the other one. So as you can see what I was saying here, this comes right up next to his head, which I think is a much cooler look, much more uh, intimidating, imposing look. So here we have my favorite, the classic or a modern classic vibe. Love the tail coming right here by his face. Just very intimidating. Uh, one of my favorite photos I've ever taken is this one. And I just think it uh, looks outstanding with that stinger right up against his uh, cheekbone there. Looks outstanding. So again, uh, not the armored tail, not exactly because the classic scorpion tail, you know, was just rounded, but uh, Love this. Uh, very much like the, hey, I found a scorpion shirt. How cool is that? Uh, very much like the McFarlane uh, spin here with the style, even the face and all that. One of the things that's always got me is the face doesn't really make sense. You know, if he had a mask here, what is that like adhered to his lips, you know, to make that go? So uh, very cool look, you know, I'm not criticizing that, but uh, it doesn't logically make a lot of sense. But um, anyways, that is the assembly. So I guess we will move on to the assessment. All right, as I said earlier, one of my favorite overall XM pieces. Uh, may have been my favorite until Hulkbuster and Hulk arrived. Uh, this probably is number three currently. I think it is a very under the radar piece. Uh, whenever I first saw it, whenever it was released, I was like insta buy. I mean, I just thought it was executed to perfection. Uh, outstanding. I only have one thing that I could possibly criticize and I'll go ahead and say that now. The pose that they chose to do with that, I think he has to be displayed high. If you put this low, it looks a little funny for him to be looking at the floor. So I think the nature of it forces it to be a top shelf piece. If that's the worst criticism you got, uh, you're doing all right. So the base has a lot of interesting things going on in it. Uh, not sure what these, you know, a lot of the debris is, but it's interesting to look at. Uh, you have this great looking thing here, a lot of pieces of rebar metal. The fence doesn't really, really make sense in the way that it's contoured around it, but it works. Uh, it just adds something to the piece that if you took it off would be lacking. So uh, artistic choice there and a home run. Uh, again, you got some uh, girder type thing going here. Not sure, almost looks like a rain gutter now that I look at it. I'm not sure what that is, but uh, subtle uh, painting in the rocks, uh, mainly gray, you know, rocks are rocks for the most part, but these are well done. I like the fact that they incorporated some uh, brown shading in there. So uh, that's very well done. Uh, light post is a great addition. 
what I do like about it is that you don't have to have it lit. You know, if you don't choose, I don't know if the, the, how bright the lights are in here, if you can see it, but uh, I'll take some uh, photos in the dark in a minute. Um, the light post looks great unlit. So I like the fact that whenever you have LED pieces like that, that they can be either or. So star of the show for me is the paint job on this guy. Just a killer, this uh, candy metallic green, I uh, guess you would call it. Uh, the paint on this may be the best statue that I own. Hulkbuster, mm, like this, but every time I look at this thing, I was like, what a paint job. The person that painted this or company that painted this or whatever, it's just perfection, again. Uh, from the undersuit here, the uh, texturing of the sculpture, you know, has these uh, line details in it. The contrast in the way that they did this, from the shiny, I mean, you got an entirely green guy, but yet he's dynamically, look, all the pieces, there's no lack of definition in it. There's no lack of interest in it. You have a uh, shading in the uh, gauntlets here, the uh, bracers, actually, they call them, um, here the shiny paint on the gloves, just every choice that they made was dead perfection. So uh, the stitching around where uh, the, the uh, shiny parts would be held onto looks believable, very accurate. Again, it's a super villain or whatever, but everything is very logically done. Even in the corrugation of the tail here and the way all that that's done, makes logical sense, which is a huge plus for me. I hate whenever I look at something and go, ah, that doesn't really work for me. But every single aspect of this, I still got his breastplate on. Classic version doesn't keep this, so set it under the table. So, and then just by removing that magnet there, all the sculpting in his uh, chest, mus musculature and all that, excellent. The head sculpts, as I was just saying, doesn't really make sense with the uh, way that the mouth is, but uh, very well done. The eyes are excellent. Uh, he has kind of a bloodshot, kind of crazy looking. Uh, he looks very deranged in his eyes. Uh, very well done. The uh, teeth are nicely painted. Gums have a little bit of shine to them. Maybe could have used a little bit more gloss in the mouth there, but uh, I think that's exceptionally well done. The teeth, uh, excuse me, the eyes have a uh, glistening to them. Love the uh, accents around the mask there. The uh, stitching and all again, looks like would be the real deal. Let me get the other head sculpt. So again, the same, this is actually, you know, the most uh, that you could see, I guess kind of transformer-ish <laughs> type tail there. But the, uh, again, the paint job just shines so, so well. Uh, dark uh, painting into accent around all the various pieces here. It's just so well done. Uh, I like the fact that once again that it's, you know, one flares out, one flares right by his head. So there's a little bit of variation. It's not just a carbon copy of the two. Uh, just so well done. The way that it attaches to his back is also excellent and uh, looks like it's a part of him. So very well done. Let me set this to the side and not step on it. This head sculpt uh, is not my favorite. Um, I don't particularly love the bug eyes. Uh, this to me looks like the PS4 inspired version. I'm not sure if that was out yet. I'm not much of a gamer, but I do have that game. Um, so anyway, it uh, looks kind of in that vein. Uh, it looks like he has lipstick in this version. I forgot to put my lipstick on in this kit. Oh man, gotta go back and reshoot that. But uh, his lips are a little too pink for me on this. They need to be toned down a little bit. So uh, maybe it's a check. Maxine Gargan. Um, the honeycomb, you know, eyes, bug eyes. I guess it's cool. Uh, it'd be, you know, what you would think if you were going to modernize, you know, to a, a modern warfare type mask, uh, what it would look like. But... For me, it's classic all the way. Following up with a train of thought earlier, uh, just a very underrated piece. Uh, we're funny as collectors, you know, nobody wanted the piece until it's sold out and then everybody wants it. 
guilty. You know, I've done that on plenty of things. But uh, whenever I saw this, I was just instantly. He actually was one, a character, a villain that I liked in the comics and always enjoyed. I know a lot of people considering second tier, third tier, or whatever, but uh, he was always one of my favorites. So finish up with some photos and my typical you spin me right around. But I uh, appreciate you watching today and I hope Stellar Piece, one of my favorites, if I was still scoring, it would be get a perfect score. Um, one of my absolute uh, treasures, one that I don't plan on parting with. So we're at 800 subs right now. Really appreciate everyone. When we hit 1250, I'm giving away a $250 gift code to Todd Shop Spec Fiction. You can find the link to the video here. You have to be a sub and comment on that video what your favorite skit is that I've done. And got a lot of great comments so far. I've really enjoyed reading those. So uh, just really appreciate y'all. Tune in, uh, make sure that you hit that like, sub, and notification bell so that when the next video comes out, you know it. And just remember, if you're not doing it half-ass, you ain't doing it right. And we'll catch you next time. Thank you.